So what are my hopes for Salem and for the future of Salem? Uh, One of my biggest hopes is that every individual who worships at Salem would feel called and empowered to be a part of God's story. That every person would know that God has called them for a specific purpose. God has called them not in spite of who they are, um, but precisely because of who they are. That God has called us Um, all individually to be a part of God's grand story. Um, And I hope that everyone would feel empowered in that way and that when we're individually empowered in that way, then communally, collectively, we become such a powerful force for change in our world. We can become such a powerful force for healing and for Uh, life-giving service in a world that desperately needs healing and uh, and love and compassion. Um, And so I hope that every individual, when they walk into Salem, they understand that they are an important and an integral piece of God's story. And uh, all throughout scripture, God is not calling Uh, the most qualified. God is not calling the people who have it all together. God is always calling people who are imperfect, who have their own fears, who have their own doubts. And I hope that we can see that throughout scripture and know that that calling is for us too, that we have been called to be a part of God's story and we are agents of grace and agents of mercy in a hurting world. Um, And so I hope that um, we all would feel that so deeply that it just becomes a part of who we are as the church, is that when we see pain and we see brokenness and when we see injustice in the world, we feel empowered to do something about that uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit working in us.